Hello, I'm Mark Swanson We're here at Gulf Coast Ultrasound Institute and my hot tip for today is going to be how to perform a point of care compression ultrasound to rule out lower extremity DVT. Alright, so to perform a quick point of care compression study on a lower extremity, it's pretty basic. First of all, pick up a high frequency linear transducer indicator toward the patient's right start high up on the groin so you can see just two vessels common femoral artery and common femoral vein a good place to start is this saphenofemoral junction we're seeing the saphenous vein draining into the common femoral vein that saphenofemoral junction is an appropriate place to actually start your compressions so indicator toward the right compress, there's our saphenofemoral junction, about every centimeter you're going to compress as you come down the leg, compress, compress, we're at mid-thigh, still seeing that vein very clear, still compressing, a little more difficult to see. We're seeing our compressions right there. As you get distal in the thigh, it does get more difficult. And a really good tip in this location, as you get down toward this adductor canal and it's difficult, is to just go ahead, reach your hand underneath the thigh, and actually push up on that vein toward the transducer, where you can see my arrow right there. It actually pushes that distal femoral vein at the adductor canal up close to the transducer and makes it very easy to visualize as you go down toward this adductor canal area. At this point, just simply with your indicator still pointing toward the patient's right, slide into the popliteal fossa, locate your popliteal vein. You can see it compresses fine right there and you can always slide back up the leg and review a little bit or backtrack to make sure you did cover that adductor canal area sufficiently because it is a common place for a clot to develop. Compress down through your popliteal fossa, distal popliteal fossa, toward the trifurcation area, and you're complete. This entire exam will only take you about two or three minutes. That's my hot tip for today. Now you give it a try.